Okay, so I'm going to show you the first repeat of rows on the Lila Berry shawl. I'm going to start by tying a loop onto our crochet hook. And I'm using a larger yarn and larger hook in this video than in the actual shawl just to make it a little easier to see. So we're going to start with chain 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, whoops, 5, 6, 7, and 8. And that counts as a double crochet and chain 5. We're going to double crochet in the 8th chain from our hook which is the first one at the very bottom. Double crochet, chain five, and double crochet in that same space again. So that was yarn over your hook, insert your hook into the specified place, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two loops on your hook. Okay, now for row Two, we're going to start with a chain four and turn our work. That counts as a double crochet and a chain one. We're going to double crochet in the same stitch. Chain five. Now in the next stitch, this double crochet here, we're going to work a double crochet, chain one double crochet. do a chain five again and in our last stitch we're going to work double crochet chain one double crochet now this last stitch is actually the chain eight at the beginning of the first row and if you recall it said chain eight counts as double crochet chain five what that means is the first three chains count as a double crochet and then the next five count as the chain five so we're going to go back to the beginning now and look at one two three the top of the third chain would be the top position of a double crochet so that's where we're going to work. Double crochet, chain one, double crochet. That's one of the reasons why I like to make videos because that is something that you need to learn uh, to crochet like this even though it isn't always specified in the pattern. And that's what we look like at the end of row two. So we're going to go on to row three now and it says to slip stitch into the first chain one space. So we're going to slip stitch right in there and chain four which counts as a double crochet chain one, double crochet in the same space, chain one three times, so we're going to two and three, and then one more double crochet. So what you're looking for is five double crochets and four chain spaces. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Okay, and then we're going to chain three. Oops, sorry, 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 sorry. Chain five. And then we're going to do that in the next chain one space. In that next chain one space, we're going to work double crochet, chain one. We're going to do the double crochet, chain one, four times, and then a double crochet at the end two, three, four, five. Whoops. The five, and then with that first one, two, three, four, five. And then in the next chain one space we'll work double crochet, chain one, four times, and then a fifth double crochet two, three, four, and then a fifth double crochet. And then that's what this row looks like when it's done. Okay, so then now we're going to chain, or row four, chain one, single crochet in your first double crochet, chain three, and single crochet in the next stitch four times. One, two, three, 
three, four. And if you notice, that's the beginning of our pineapple now. It's the beginning of those mesh chain spaces that are going to create the pineapple. Chain five. And then it says double crochet in the third of the chain five space. And what that means is instead of just double crocheting into this large chain five space, we're actually going to find the chain in the middle, the third of the five, and double crochet into that specified chain itself, like that. Sometimes that works better in a design for um, making something stay in place, whereas when you work in the whole space itself, it can slide around. So we'll do a chain five single crochet in the next stitch, chain three, single crochet in the next stitch, and we're going to do that chain three, single crochet three more times, I'm going to chain five, and then we're going to double crochet in the third of the chain five space again. Chain five, single crochet in the next stitch, chain three, chain three, single crochet in the next stitch, chain three, single crochet in the next stitch, and then it, for the last one, we're going to chain three. Now it says a single crochet in the last stitch, and if you remember, at the beginning of that row was a chain four that counted as a double crochet chain one. So the first three chains are the double crochet, the fourth one is the chain one. So we want to go to the top of the third from the beginning to count as our double crochet. And there you have it. That's the end of this row. Now at this point, you have learned everything that you'll need to complete this pattern and the link to follow the entire pattern, chart and line by line instructions is at the bottom of this video. Thanks for watching.